Well, this is take two. <laughs> I'm trying to make this video. Hey, my toy friends, it's me, Gayla, and today is Leap Day. It's the last day of February. We've got an extra day this year. Um, personally, it, it's kind of a difficult day for me, so we're going to do my monthly thrift haul and see if we can't find a little bit of sunshine on this gloomy day. Here is my big brown bag, and it filled up super early. So I might have stuck to the bag for January, but in February that did not happen. I have, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five bags plus uh, a case. So we're going to start with the brown bag. Got this vintage Snow White book. I love Snow White. Uh, I can't remember the year for this one. I think it's from the 90s. Gallery books. Uh, I'm trying to be hurry. 1989. Woo! Okay. I found this Barbie. Which I haven't been picking up Barbies as much. I'm kind of maxed out as far as Barbies. I mean, how many superstars with turquoise eyeshadow does one really need? But, see her earrings? I'm pretty sure this is Songbird Barbie, and this is one that I had when I was a kid. Um, oh, her hand isn't flat. Maybe it isn't Songbird Barbie. Oh, well. She's a superstar Barbie with blue eyeshadow, and she has rose earrings. I think Songbird Barbie had a flat hand for the bird, so. And I think she had the same earrings. Whatever. My mistake. This is just how today's gonna go, I'm sure. I found Astronaut Barbie. I was so excited because the week before I had found like the most recent iteration of Astronaut Barbie and I was like umming and awing and didn't get her and then I went back thinking I should have gotten her and she wasn't there but I looked a few bags down and this girl was there so I was rewarded for you know life I guess I don't know it's like hey we don't have that one anymore but here's this one which is cool she has very teal eyeshadow her hair um her rubber band has disintegrated that's pretty gross and she probably needs a wash i think someone had her hanging from the ceiling because she has this fishing line from her leg so we'll get her cleaned up um i purchased a dollar store barbie outfit that has a helmet so maybe that helmet will work for her um not that outfit but the one i bought with it is going to be for a challenge i think the ella ella avar is going to be doing um soon so I got the Evil Queen. She's missing her hood, but I'm probably going to redress her anyway. But now I have Maleficent and her. Is that all the villains I have? I think so. So I have her and Maleficent to be besties. So, I mean, look at this face. Serving. She's sassy. Poppy Parker kind of looks like that now that I think about it. Okay. Got this uh, vintage children's Spooky book, Secret of the Upstairs Room, and other ghostly tales. Um, and I think this one's from the 90s as well. 1983, so from the 80s. Um, generally, I don't pick up books more recent than the 90s, for the most part. At the Goodwill, I found this Harajuku um, fashion pack. So I'm going to see if this fits any dolls that I have. The packaging is trashed. Um, and I definitely did not pay $4. Blue was the color, so it was half price. So I got that for $2. Let's see. I got this Shadow High girl. Um, I'm really trying to get a lot of the Shadow High dolls. I really like them more than the Rainbow High. I also found, uh, what's her name? Not Cerise. That's the werewolf girl. Big bad wolf girl. Oh, gosh. Cedarwood. That's her name. Not Cerise. It's Cedarwood. I found her. She's an Ever After High doll. Um, she's got the wrong hands. But, well, this one might be hers. No, I don't think it is. I think she's got LOL hands. But that's cool because I didn't have her. I found her outfit online, but it's, it's kind of pricey. And then I also found this Ever After High girl. She is filthy, but I didn't have her. So I'm going to try to clean her up get her some hands. I don't know this one's name. And I don't know that she's supposed to be wearing this matte shoes. So, any of you ever after high... Oh, her neck is broken. I think I can fix that. It's just got a, a piece missing. 
I didn't have her, so I picked her up. She's very dirty. We gotta clean her. As if I didn't have enough dolls to clean. Okay, I got another Cupid. Um, she's in one of the Monster High dresses, maybe one of the emoji dresses. Um, I already had the Cupid in the beret, and I think this one might be the coronation one. Um, her hair is pretty soft, but I love Cupid, and she's got pink hair, so picked her up. And I think, I, yeah, I had two Bratz kids that I found. They were in a bag with something else, but I think the Bratz kids, I don't really care for the regular Bratz. I like um, the Midnight Dance, the Punks, you know, like the alternative Bratz, and I like the Bratzillas. But I think the kids are so cute. So I got these guys, these kids. And then I got another Barbie extra, almost complete. This is one that March Payne's Dolly Midlife Crisis reviewed. So if you want to see a review of this one, go over to their channel. I really just wanted her jacket. I really like her hair. Um, she reminds me of that one MMA fighter turned actress that was on The Mandalorian. Um, I think she's so pretty. But yeah. Picked her up. It was worth the $3 alone just for this jacket. I wanted this jacket so bad. Some more books. The Man Who Was Poe. Um, this one might be a young reader. I think it is. Let's see. And this is from Avon Books, 1989. That is a cool cover. Got two spine chillers. These are hard to find. Um, I think these are less common than Goosebumps. These particular ones are ex library. 1996. and 1996. Um, yeah, these are extra libraries. So we've got the pizza with extra creeps and the phantom of fizz ed. So that will be a good time. I'm really enjoying like the young reader horror right now because life is life is a lot right now. Um, and then I got one royal diaries. This is Cleopatra. Another one for the royal diaries and the dear America collection. So that was the first bag. Um, and then that same... Oops, I got stuff falling everywhere. In that same trip, I found this Barbie case. Or at least I thought it was a case. Until I opened it. And it's a full-on house in there. What? And it's so pastel. And of course, this is after I bought the Barbie Dream House. Which I got a good deal on my um victorian mansion barbie dream house the big pastel one but it still to me was a lot of money so i was like man now i have two barbie houses what am i gonna do with my life okay um and i think that's the same day i was in another town i had to go pick up a part for my boyfriend's vehicle at a dealership in another town so i was thrifting in in that town i was over in biloxi um, and I don't get to thrift in Biloxi a whole lot. We try to go every week, but we don't always get to. Um, and usually when I do, the kids are with me. So I got to go by myself, and it was a good time. Um, let's see here. That same day, I also found this Bigfoot Marie. thought she was cute. And I got her from the Goodwill, so she was only a dollar. Some of these are really crusty because they came from the plush bin at the Goodwill. But they were only a dollar a piece, so I thought I'd try to save them. Um, I got this baby mini. You can see she's got like some schmutz on her. So I'm going to clean her. Um, I already have some Disney babies. You can't really see, but they're they're right here. Um, just out of frame. I found this Snorlax. And he is one from the 90s. Uh, let's see. Pokemon Beanie Plush. Uh, 1998 Nintendo. So I picked him up because he was a... A vintage one. I already have a Gengar and a Psyduck, so now I have a Snorlax too. I found this horse, which I think is a Barbie horse. Um, it took me forever to find the stamp. I was like, I feel like this is old. I feel like this is an older horse. Um, and I don't think Mattel made the Fashion Star fillies. I think that was Kenner. I think this is a Barbie horse, but I'm not sure which one because I've seen her go by two different names. So, 
if you know, let me know. She's got these, like, stars in her eyes. She's got, like, purple. And then her hair is pink and white. Her hooves are purple. And I think she's stamped 1989. It's so hard to see. It's, like, inside of her leg. Yeah, I can't even read the... I'm going to have to get a flashlight. I had to use a flashlight on my phone to be able to read it in the thrift store. And I've since forgotten what it says. I found this unicorn. Hopefully, I can save her. She still had her little rust tag. And her tush tag says Regina. So, if you know anything about Regina the unicorn, let me know. I'm going to see if I can save her. Maybe we can unmat her hair. I found... I think this is a llama. Um... If the Space Puppy Galaxy cat is any indication. I'm not good at identifying animals, apparently. Um, but I believe this is the little llama. Um, these little Douglas animals. I already have a deer. I think they make really good props for dolls. So maybe my dolls will go to like a petting zoo. I don't know. I picked it up. I got this very sweet lamb. I hope I can clean her. Um, her name is Baba, very original, um, and she is by Russ Berry. I don't see a year, but the fact that it says Russ Berry Co., that right there tells you 80s or 90s for sure. I can tell by the way that she's stuffed that she's not from the 70s, but with Russ Berry on the tag, that's 70s or 80s for sure. I found a cabbage patch. I haven't gotten a cabbage patch in a long time. Um, this is one of the little lullabies. She's missing her talk pack, so I can put her in the wash. Um, and I'll be honest, the African-American kids, you just don't see them as much. Um, most, mostly Cabbage Patches that I find from the 80s and 90s, they've pretty much all been white, white kids. Um, so I, I was very happy to see her because there's not a whole lot of diversity in my collection. Um, she's 1991, and this is a Hasbro kid very cute pastel outfit and she's got her little tongue out little cutie pie and then oh i also found this little cat um i think they gave it to me for a quarter so i don't know if this is like our generation it looks like an older pleasant company cat but i just felt so bad for her i thought she was cute and she looked kind of vintage so i picked her up i'm gonna clean her up and maybe she can belong to my wife so i'm not sure I didn't want to leave her. I felt sad. Usually the little ones like this, like when they ring you up, if they charge you anything, it's like a quarter. Um, and I also found a purse. I know I don't show clothes on here. I don't really buy clothes that often. I have a lot. And as long as I stay on top of the laundry, it's not really a problem. Uh, I do buy most of my clothing and accessories secondhand, um, except of course, like undergarments and socks and things like that. Um, but I found this bag. I saw the little danglies and the handle and I was like oh a tiki purse and then I realized it was like a shrunken head on it and when I checked the back it said sourpuss so this is like an older style sourpuss clothing bag and so I had to scoop that I thought it was really cool that's it for that bag where are we now I'm already up up to my chest and stuff I have literally painted myself into a corner over here. I'm going to have to shovel my way out. Okay. Uh, last week. Last week was a good week. So starting off, my family and I went on either Saturday or Sunday over to Biloxi. I, I've been finding good stuff over in Biloxi. Not so much in my store. Um, and I wasn't really finding a whole lot. So I found this Sky Dancers launcher just in a bag of stuff. So I picked that up. It's got the dolphins and the seahorse. Um, I think this is a 90s one, but I do know, you know, they had like a second issue or something. But those designs did look a lot different. I think this is from the 90s. I don't see any markings on it, so I don't even know if it's legitimate. But I thought it was worth picking up nonetheless. It'll look pretty on a shelf. And I think that was, like, the only thing I wanted. Yeah, the rest of the... I don't really care for the other crap in this bag. That'll go back to the thrift store. Uh, I found this puppet. I was like, oh, okay. But then I saw its scarf. This is Colonel Casey! 
And if you don't know who Colonel Casey is, Colonel Casey is the stork that brings the Cabbage Patch Kids. So I am so happy to have him. See his little scarf, it says Colonel Casey. So I've had a flamingo, I call my Cabbage Patch Kids the Pastel Patch, and I've had a flamingo, and that is Cadet Casey, who brings the pastel babies. But now I have um, Cadet Cassie, I'm sorry, Cadet Cassie. This is Colonel Casey. So I think I'm just gonna cut the strings and just have him as a plush, and he's smaller. So he won't take up a lot of room. And yeah, it says Xavier Roberts, Colonel Casey, Marionette. Um, let's see if there's a year. Well, this is 2003. So somebody went to Babyland General and bought this, um, which now it's 2024. So that was still a while back. But yeah, Colonel Casey. Now I have a Colonel Casey in my cabbage patch. I found this precious baby. Um, it reminds me of the Rushton Snow Babies, but this one is actually from the 80s, and it was, I want to say, made by CBS Toys. Yeah, CBS Toys, who made the um, Tabitha doll that I don't think I'll ever have. She is just so cute. I had seen this one before. Um, I think Patricia Collects has one, um, and I can't remember who she bought it from, but I remember, like, one of our Instagram friends was having a sale. I remember her buying it, and I remember thinking, oh, that's so cute. It looks like the Rushton Snow Babies. And then I found one. So I'm excited to have her. I don't really have baby dolls. Um, I was thinking about that earlier. I have so many Reborn friends, but I just have um, Cabbage Patch. I have my Honeymoon Baby from the 60s, the Dick Tracy Honeymoon Baby. And then I have um, my Pleasant Company Bitty Baby, Sylvie. But it gets better. This trip was so good. The trip only went uphill from that. Because then I found this friend. What are these called? Snuzzles? Yeah, Snuzzles. So I've only ever seen these online, but there are these little pastel friends. Now, the ones I've seen have been more of a plush. This one's more like a lovey for a baby, but still, it's a pastel bunny and it's a snuzzle. Some of those snuzzles are really expensive. So I didn't buy this to sell. I bought this because I like vintage pastel toys. Um, I'm not really picking up things to sell that much. We'll see. That's the good thing about collecting. You can kind of cycle through things. The best thing I found. Um, so this one was over by the Easter Bunnies. And they had a lot of vintage Easter Bunnies. But I had to pass because I already have so much. Um, I picked up this nuzzle. And then I saw like this material. And I was like, oh my god, that's a bubble. I almost screamed. So yeah, I found a popple at the thrift store. Um, that's not the first time that's happened. But it hasn't happened in like five or six years. And honestly, like, I was so excited. I almost screamed. I was like, <gasps> and, like, had to control myself. But, yeah, I found a popple. So excited. My daughter really wants this, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to hang on to it. But I am going to clean it up. Um, I have the pastel pink one already. Um, and I still want potato chips so bad. So, yeah. I think I'm going to um, clean this one. And maybe give it to my daughter. I don't know. I don't really want, I want to keep it, but we'll see. When you're a mom, like, you're used to just giving your soul away, basically. Um, and then I found an LOL surprise that I didn't have that I actually wanted. And she was complete. It was Spicy, I think is her name. Spicy or Spicy Babe or Spicy BB or something like that. You know, they have names like that. Whatever. That was at my local store, and also at my local store, I saw this bag hanging there, and it had Silky Pup, so I found Silky Pup, too. She's got um, her rubber bands and her hair are broken, but she's got her little collar leash thing. So I'm excited because I already had, um, and this one is 1986. Oh, it says Those Friends from Cleveland, TF, TCFC, that's um, those characters from Cleveland, so the same ones that had... I think Care Bears, maybe Strawberry Shortcake, or was Strawberry Shortcake American Greeting? I don't know. One of those get greeting card companies. Um, I thought Mattel made these, but it's not marked Mattel. It's marked to those characters from Cleveland, TCFC. Uh, I know there's variations of the Silky Pups, because I used to have two different ones, and I actually traded them together. So I don't know. I know this one's from Mexico, because it's stamped Mexico, but I don't know like what the face difference is. I'm so excited because, you know, I'm collecting Lady Lovely Locks again. Now I have um, Silky Mane, 
not silky mink cute. I have the horse and I have um, golden waves and I have lady lovely locks. So now I have silky pup. There was a VIP pet in here. So maybe I'll make another VIP pet doll. I do like this one's pink hair. Um, and this one has the pointy ears too. So I don't know if it's a puppy or a kitty, but it's got like hearts and cherry blossoms on its face. Whereas my other one had the space design. So that's cool. Maybe I'll clean this one and have another um, VIP pet hybrid Franken doll. I picked up these two witch books. Um, I see Girl Underwater talk about the witch dolls. So I thought maybe somebody would want the books. Um, apparently this was a TV series on Disney, I want to say. And they had dolls, which people apparently collect. I've never heard of this. I've never, I had never seen the dolls. That was all new to me. I thought someone somewhere out there might want these. So I did pick these up to put in my Mercari shop. Books are cheap. I don't really make money. Honestly, I don't make a lot of money on anything I sell, but I really don't make money on books. That's just, you know, if I find something really niche, I'll pick it up because I feel like somebody out there might be looking for it. And then I found another YA scary book. This is an Archway paperback YA novel. And it's called The Mall. So it's like a sinister shopping mall. Um, and this one is from 1992. So, pick that one up. Are we done yet? No, we're not. I hope you brought a snack. Are we really at 21 minutes? Good Lord. Whew. This is a workout. Okay, I think all that's left is what I got today, this morning. I go on Thursdays because it's student discount day, so... I've already been. It's going to take forever for me to upload this video. Okay. I didn't find anything especially noteworthy. Uh, I picked up this. I thought I could put dolls in it or put it in the Blythe apartment. I don't know. It seemed like a good thing to get. I got two. I think this one is a rainbow high. I think she was, one, she was part of... I'm going to put her hair across her because of dolly nudity. She was part of a twin set. She had one that had like warmer colors. Uh, but I wanted this one because of the blue, the green, and the purple. Because she looked like Mardi Gras to me. So I'm hoping to give her like a Mardi Gras theme. Maybe I will see if my dolly friends want to do like a Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras collab challenge next year. Next carnival season. Or, um, I don't know if the... Carnival, like in South America, is the same as um, carnival season because the carnival season here is like right before the start of Lent. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same, like if the carnival where all the beautiful ladies do the samba in their fantastic costumes, if that's the same or not. Um, so that's something I always enjoy watching online. Their costumes are so beautiful and they're such talented dancers. Uh, and then this Shadow High girl, she was one of the twins. Her sister has the bubble gum, so now I'm just looking for that one. Um, I don't know what this dress goes to, but it's pretty cute. So yeah, I have to clean them, fix their hair, whatever. It was $3 for both of them, so I thought that was a good deal. Oh, and I forgot to show this guy. I got him last weekend. Big happy face guy. Um, and he is by Dan D. And... I thought it was so funny because Ashley at Vintage Whimsy had just found a yellow one um, at, I think at the Goodwill bins. And I was like, man, I wish I had found one of those because I'm starting to collect happy face stuff for when I have my own office. Now, I don't want like clients to come in that are going through something and just be inundated with happy faces. I would like to have like different faces, but I've gotten a couple of happy face things and that is my plan to have them in an office setting someday. Um, and then I picked up this little bag today. Literally the only thing I wanted from this bag was this, um, this little poopsie banana friend. It still, they still had their little pacifier. So I want the moon one really bad. I really want the moon one. Um, and the, it's shaped like this one, but instead of a banana, it's a moon. Um, I, I miss these. I miss these. I wish I could find more of these and the fairies because I do think they're really pretty. I never see them and what a shame because I really do like them. I love this. This is so kooky. Like it's a banana head. I'm gonna start calling my kids that when they act up. Was that all? 
No. <sighs> Never ends. Now, this is really, really, truly the last bag. And if you want to click off now, that's cool. It's just books and baby clothes. Um, I thought some of my reborn ladies might want to see the baby clothes. Um, they're just like for my Cabbage Patch kids. But we'll go with the books first. I found one Babysitter's Club that I don't think I have. This is Christy and the Worst Kid Ever. And then I, a little sister, Karen's Secret. Um, I read the Karen books first. The little sister books before I read Babysitter's Club when I was younger. I got these um, Lady Bird Puddle Lane books, um, which I think are from the UK. So UK friends, if you're familiar with these, uh, let's talk about it down in the comments because these are so precious looking. I wish there were more of them. I didn't see any more. Um, the Little Monster and Mrs. Pitter Patter at, and the Magician. They're really short little reading books. I got these to read with my kids. I think they're so cute. Um, I don't, there's a year, but it's in Roman numerals. So I don't know, but these look like they're from at least the 80s. And then this Betsy Byers book called McMummy. It's an extra library, but if your book doesn't have the um, synopsis or whatever on the back, you can go under the copyright information and there will be like a little brief summary down in here. This one says, looking after an eccentric scientist's greenhouse doesn't seem any stranger than the other jobs taken by Mosey and his partner, Batty, until Mosey discovers a large mummy-shaped pod on one of the plants. So it's like a, you know, a spooky book, and this was from 1993, so I picked it up. Gotta get those stickers off the cover. Okay, and then I went over to the baby clothes. Um, I don't know how I ended up there. I was going through something this morning. Like I said, I... Let me just be honest. I lost someone very close to me on this day many years ago. So it's a hard day. Um, wandered over to the baby clothes. I guess trying to get my life together. I don't know. But I was like, all these fabrics. There's so many good prints and the, like stretchy fabrics. I was like, I'm going to start coming here for doll clothes. And I was looking for a Hawaiian shirt for one of my plushies. I don't want to say which because it might be like a reveal later. I don't know. Anyway, um, we've got a challenge slash collab coming up, so I purchased um, this little dress slash onesie little baby dress to make a dress out of. How cute is that? I was looking for something with pastel rainbows because part of the challenge is rainbows, and I really wanted pastel rainbows instead of the bold colors. Um, I think this was the most expensive thing I got. I think it was $2. Yeah, and then, of course, on top of all this, I get a student discount as well. Um, and then I saw these lobster pants. I don't have any purpose for these lobster pants. They might fit a cabbage patch because I think they are newborn size. This says three to six months, but they're very, very stretchy. If these do not fit one of my cabbage patch kids, I will probably make something because I could not pass up this fabric. It's very soft and it's super stretchy. I think, and 69 cents. Like, I wasn't, I was like, I have to, I have to. I found this sweater, um, and it was 79 cents, and it's, uh, baby H&M. I got it, uh, for my, my one soft sculpture cabbage patch. She's pretty big, so she can wear baby clothes, small children's clothing, so I picked that up, because you can always use a cardigan. And then, if you look on my Instagram wish list or ISO or whatever it is I saw I found these soft sculpture that were like a special California edition or something and they're in these little bear suits and I want one of those soft sculpture bear babies so bad but I still haven't found one so I found this little bear suit and I thought I'll just put my soft sculpture girl in that good enough that'll be great for now excellent workaround solution Dela. this was a dollar but for a dollar, I will just do that until I can find one of one of the bear babies that I can afford because I really want one. Uh, the cabbage patch that I have left, I'm kind of like at a standstill with my collecting. That's why I don't show them as much these days because there's not, I'm not actively seeking more cabbage patch. There's just a handful of ones that I would like to have, but they tend to be very, very rare, very expensive. So that's that's where I am at with the cabbage patch. If you follow me for cabbage patch. That's where I am. I am literally buried over here in this corner. This was an intense thrift haul. 
congratulations if you've made it this far. I love you. Clearly, you love me because you've stuck with me for half an hour now. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. I hope you know that the world is a better place with you here in it and you matter. Have you found anything cool lately? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Let me know what you liked and what you thought. By the way, I like you just the way you are. I hope you'll come back and see me again. And uh, yeah, do something kind for yourself today. Okay, bye.